Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. I'm over here on Cucamonga Avenue just east of Euclid Avenue at a Hollywood landmark noticed by millions in the Ultimate Classic Trilogy, Back to the Future. And on this scorching Sunday, I'll be here showing you a movie remnant that's very noticeable in the movie and still noticeable today. Without further ado, let this vlog begin. So I'm sure by now we all heard of Back to the Future. It's still a hit, everyone still talks about it and everybody still wants the original hoverboard. And I'm not talking about that cheap one with the wheels on the sides. He's on a hoverboard! We want that one! Also, after watching the movie, I remember thinking to myself, how can I make my mom's car fly? One day I said to my mom, hey mom, dad's a mechanic, can't he make our car fly? And she's like, Pfft. No, he could barely make it run. I mean, I really had that impression of the future. As a kid, it all made sense. I really thought there were gonna be flying cars. But the only thing that flew was time. However, that doesn't mean that things necessarily changed. Some 33 years later, our movie remnants, here on the iconic road that leads to Old Man Peabody's farm. And I'll be sharing that movie remnant with you, a true piece of Back to the Future history here in Chino, California. After crashing into Peabody's barn and barely escaping with his life, he drives down this road, Cucamonga Avenue, before coming to a complete halt. Which leads me to the remnant I'm here to share with you. After noticing his neighborhood, he goes to leave, but the time machine wouldn't start. So he had to hide it right away, and he did so by hiding it behind a giant billboard that was right behind three rusted posts. And here they are, 33 years later. What's up, guys? You guys were great in the movie. Seriously, this is really cool stuff to me. Untouched and unscathed, this is what I like to look for when I'm out visiting a filming location. Solid evidence. One way you could tell is by looking at the sizes. The one in the middle is shorter than the outer two. Totally, totally rad. Trust me, I'd much rather be showing you the billboard, but sometimes it's the little things that matter. Speaking of the billboard, this would have been right behind it. This is where Marty pushes the time machine behind the billboard to conceal it from bypassers. Pretty much this whole fence was seen in the movie, and right over here is another noticeable remnant. As the elderly couple was driving down the street, you will notice this piece of wood, which is right here, a little shorter than it was in the movie, but nonetheless, it's the original piece. And you could tell it's been here for a long time. You know how awesome you are? Another remnant is right across the street. This is the original fence as well that you can see in the movie. So those were some Back to the Future remnants still in the same spot in 2018. Everyone, that concludes this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Coming to you from Lion Estates. Remember to live, learn, and explore. Until the next time, see ya.